Welcome to Where in the World is Pastor Joy. So, where am I today? This past week, I was in the youth room at the United Methodist Church here in Mount Vernon where youth study the Bible, where they grow in fellowship and have all kinds of fun playing games together. This week, I'm in another room that you may experience education, grow in fellowship or prayer. The word that we shared this past weekend was from Matthew chapter 9, verses 35 through 38. Then Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom, curing every disease and every sickness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion for them because they were, they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. Friends, Jesus Christ is who we're talking about. Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As we go through the Apostles' Creed, we read this past week that I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and buried. He descended to the dead, and on the third day he rose again and ascended to heaven and seated at the right hand of God the Father. So the question that, that lurks amongst us in our culture is often, is Jesus real? But the real question, most people acknowledge Jesus' existence as a historical figure, as a teacher, as a prophet. But the question then remains, was he truly the Son of God? Did he truly save us from our sins and redeem us? Did he truly act and do all of these good things of healing every disease? I believe that he was. That is what we teach as a Christian church universal. We believe in Jesus, his only Son, our Lord. So friends, go in the peace and love of God, the Father Almighty, his Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit who works among us.